In this video, we are going to discuss about requirement gathering. You must understand that when a client comes to you and asks for a software, a solution to his or her problem, they might not be very clear about what they want. For example, a school comes to you and says that they want a system that processes their result, gives the result to the students. But they might not be very clear about how they want it done exactly, what is their exact requirement. So you will need to study their business, how they are actually conducting the exams, how they are assessing, is a class 1 student assessed the same way as a class 10 students. So these are the things that you need to understand yourself so that you can know what is the requirement from your solution. For any business, you need to understand their business process completely and then find out what exactly they require you to do. These are some of the questions that can help you in understanding any business. What is being done? How it is being done? What is the frequency of a task? What is the volume of decisions or transactions? What decisions is being taken by the management? What are the transactions, daily transactions, monthly transactions that are happening within the system or what are the problems being encountered? What the users are encountering problems which they need to be solved? How you can gather this information from your clients? You can have interviews, you can create questionnaires for the users and ask them to answer. Just remember that you will have to customize the questionnaire for each type of user. You will study existing system documents also and you will analyze their business data. Now let's see what should be the characteristics of your requirements that you have gathered. They should be specific, they should be measurable, not vague. They should be agreed upon, agreed upon by you as well as the client. They should be realistic. You should feel that yes, you will be able to attain them. Your client might be having some problems whose solution does not lie in a software. It could be a problem with their own process. So that is a problem that you cannot solve and you should be very realistic about that and tell your client clearly. It should be time based. You should always be able to decide that okay within a month of within a period of one month you will be able to do this within a period of two months you will be able to do this over a period of six months you will be able to deliver the complete solution if you fail to gather the requirements correctly you are going to have lots of problem in further software development incomplete problem definition you have not gathered the requirements correctly so your problem definition will be incorrect. This will lead to incorrect program goals. Rework will be required. Why? Because you have not understood correctly what you are supposed to deliver. It will increase the cost. Rework, people are employed for a longer period of time. And of course, delayed delivery. You have delivered something, you have to do rework and then again you are taking time, you are delaying. Due to the depth of information required during the requirement gathering phase, the requirement gathering phase is also known as a detailed investigation. You are conducting detailed investigation into the client's business. In this video, we have seen how you can gather the correct requirements from your clients. In the next video, we are going to see how we can define a problem.